Farouk, it's great to see you looking well. What brings you here to uh, Binwell Heath, Polo Day, sponsored by Grange Hotels? Friends. <laughs> I'm friends with the Grange Hotel. Tony, Raj and Harp very kindly. Invite, they usually invite me for the Grange Hotel functions, which I thoroughly enjoy. And uh, polo is not an event you watch very often, certainly not in Manchester, where we live. So it's lovely to come down here, support the Grange Hotel group, and enjoy the delicious champagne. You know, sort of, you know. Absolutely, and unfortunately the weather hasn't really been with us today, but something, you, as you mentioned, they live in Manchester, play for Lancashire, not something you're unused to, is it? The weather's perfectly all right in here, you know. <laughs> I watched a bit of the polo, and I was talking to somebody who was a polo player, one of the girls sitting there, and I was trying to find out some of the rules of, of polo, and she said, would you believe it, that 90%, 90% of the people that play polo do not understand the rules. Wow. Actually, that sounds like cricket to me. You know? <laughs> well, as they were saying earlier that there's only really one main rule. What, what a contrast to cricket when there's so many different rules, strategies and tactics going on. Yeah, I know. I think George Bernard Shaw came out with the best definition of cricket. So one fool throws the ball, another fool hits it. And the greatest of all fools it goes and fetches it. That's why perhaps I chose to be a wicket keeper. You know? <laughs> well, uh, Talking to people who aren't fools on the cricket team, the Indian cricket team at the moment, World Cup win, where were you watching? Well, I was watching on television, unfortunately, but I'm looking forward to seeing them in person when they tour England. A tour of England is never easy, so they've certainly got the work cut out, but I'm sure they'll do very well. They'll do much better than the, just the Sri Lankans have done, you know. It's a shame, a lot of politics have been you know, involved in all that, but India have a very good side, they're on a roll at the moment, England have been playing some very good cricket too. So I think we're going to see some very absorbing cricket between the two countries. Yeah. And uh, can I press you for a prediction for the Test Series? Well, may the best side win, I think. Uh, having played for India, Captain India and all that, my heart is still with India. I would certainly fail the Norman Tebbit Test, I think. You know? But uh, you know what that is? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. It started with me, in fact. Wow. We're playing in Stoke. Bill Cash was an MP and John Major was there. And Norman Tebbit asked me, India would about a tour England. I said, Farouk, who are you going to support? I said, well, I have to say India. <laughs> Captain of India, played for India all my life. But I'd like to see a good, you know, a good series and may the best side win at the end of the day. So he turned around to John Major and see John, Farouk engineer lives here but he still supports India. <laughs> well, and finally, yeah. as, as yourself, Captain Wicketkeeper, just a word on the rise and rise of Mahendra Singh Dhoni. He's a great guy, he reminds me a lot about my younger days and I'm very much looking forward to seeing him. You know, I'm at a function on the 20th of July with him and um, he's just a great guy, he's just a cool guy. And um, as I said, reminds me so much of my younger days. We get along great, you know, when he came to England for the first time, we, uh, you know, we worked out a few things, wicked keeping wise and all that. And um, he listens. He's a very intelligent boy and he's a very good captain, you know, his, his thinking is very sharp. You know, he picks up things very quickly and that's what, and he's a pretty lucky guy too. So I mean, all, and he's a great guy. So all in all, you know, he's a good captain and I'm glad he's there. Yeah. Barry, thanks ever so much for your time. Enjoy this summer and, and all the very best. You're always welcome, buddy. Cheers.